Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about simple ways that you can avoid lifestyle inflation. So let's go ahead and get started. According to Investopedia, lifestyle inflation or lifestyle creep refers to an increase in spending when an individual's income goes up. First things first, stop upgrading things that don't need to be upgraded. I see it time and time again. This is the first thing that people tend to do when they get an increase in salary or a raise. Typical things that people are quick to upgrade without them being broken are cars and phones, but it's also things that you might not consider like upgrading your clothes or your wardrobe. These are all just examples, but by not upgrading things that aren't broken, it can save you a lot of money in the long run. Next is probably the most obvious, but you need to stop looking at promotions as a reason to spend money. Personally, I know I'm definitely guilty of this one, but I think when you get a raise or a promotion, instead of looking at it as a reason to spend money, look at it as a reason to save. Maybe when you get your Christmas bonus at the end of the year, make a deal with yourself and split it in half, half for buying fun things and then half for saving or investing. Another easy way to avoid lifestyle creep is by reviewing your finances. So this could be done on a monthly, quarterly, annually basis, it's up to you, whatever you think works best. But I think it's important to kind of track and monitor your financial goals. I'll use myself as an example. I recently graduated university and I got my first like real full-time job. And my goal for this year was to build up an emergency fund. So I do have a specific number in mind. And I think that once I hit it, I'm not gonna look at it as like, okay, I've hit my goal, it's time to start spending. I'm going to review and then make a new financial goal for myself. Next up is stick to a budget. I think that this one is really important for helping you stay on top of your finances. Obviously with a budget, you can see how much money you have coming in and going out, but I think it's important to stick to a budget where you prioritize paying yourself first. So as soon as you get that paycheck, transferring X amount of dollars into your savings account, investing, whatever it is, and then making sure that you're only spending the disposable income that you can afford. Okay, next up, and this is a big one, I think it's really important to be mindful of ads. As we know, it is literally way too easy these days to just click add to cart. Things literally show up at your door within 24 hours. It's just, it's so much easier to spend money now than it ever was before. So for my full-time job, I work at like an international advertising agency and I've learned a lot about how calculated marketers are at targeting their audiences. I mean, I'm sure you could find so many videos on how it works, but I just think it's important to remember this when you're scrolling social media and you see an ad for something that you think you want, like it's targeted, they want you to buy it, just keep it in mind. Next up is a bit more of a fun one and it is to treat yourself. In a way, I kind of look at saving money as a little bit of like a crash diet, if that makes sense. Even though all of my videos have been more about saving money, I think it's important to also enjoy the money that you work hard to earn. So if there's something that you've wanted for a long time and you've really thought about it and you have the disposable income, go ahead and buy it. And I think if you're conscious about, you know, treating yourself responsibly, then there's way less likely of a chance on going on like a binge shopping spree later. Next up, this is a huge one, don't get lazy. Out of everything I've mentioned today, this one by far is the one that I'm the most guilty about. And an excellent example of this is food delivery services. I order from Skip the Dishes and DoorDash, honestly way more than I'd like to admit and it takes up a huge part of my budget. And I see how this gets like worse over time as people's income increases. For example, I already kind of caught myself looking into like cleaning services. Like I said to my boyfriend, it'd be so nice if someone could just come in and deep clean, you know, our place once a month so that we don't have to. I just, I see how easy it can happen, but that's a big sign of lifestyle inflation. Last but not least, buy secondhand. You can pretty much buy anything that you want secondhand. I really wanted to buy a nice sectional for our house that, you know, was cute, matched our aesthetic, but was also like very comfortable. And unfortunately, all the ones that I wanted to buy them you know, from the store firsthand were like upwards of $3,000. So I found one that was exactly what I wanted on Facebook Marketplace for around 850. And I mean, that is a lot of money that we saved. Depreciation on items is just insane. So I think it's always smart to look at secondhand websites when you wanna buy something. That's all I have for you today. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any tips or tricks that you would like to share, please leave them in a comment so I can read them. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And other than that, I will talk to you next week.